Coming at number 7 is the skeleton coast of Namibia. Known to many as the place where the desert meets the ocean, well, this place is more than that. The seacoast takes its name from the animal bones scattered across its endless strands and the hundreds of ships, together with their crew, that have wrecked there over the centuries. Visitors are often drawn to the park's shipwreck-dotted coastline. Though only a few are still visible, hundreds of vessels have met their fate along this span of shore and were slowly devoured by the elements. To the far north, traces of the Dunedin star remain. This British Blue Star liner capsized ashore in 1942, stranding its 106 passengers and crew. To the south, the Edward Boland cargo ship foundered in 1909 and now can be seen from above, a quarter mile inland, as a ghostly ship surrounded by desert. This coastal strip has often been characterized by massive storms, caused when the cold Benguela currents meet with the warm currents of the African continent. Experienced Portuguese navigators called it the Beach of Hell while the San people named it the land that God created in anger. Next on our list is the Okavango Delta in Botswana. Considered one of the largest inland deltas in the continent, the Okavango Delta is one of the most unexpected wonders of Africa, since the Okavango River runs into the dry sands of the Kalahari Desert, creating a green waterlogged oasis with very clear lagoons and channels. The delta is home to a large number of species and has one of the most unique ecosystems in the planet. The Okavango area changes constantly due to the ever-changing seasons in the region. When the rains fall in the highlands of neighboring Angola, billion liters of water flow into the delta. Although dry for two-thirds of the year. During the rainy months, the rising flood waters create a maze of marshes, small wooded islands, and shallow lagoons. The delta is a nature haven that needs to be protected so that it does not meet the same fate that was experienced by other African inland deltas located in Sudan and Mali, which were even larger than the Okavango. In our number fifth spot is Tanzania's Lake Natron. Located in northern Tanzania, at the border with Kenya. This lake is highly alkaline, yet despite this, it is a breeding ground for hundreds of thousands of lesser flamingos, just like the other Rift Valley lakes in the eastern region of Africa. The lake is fed principally by Uaso Nero River, that rises from central Kenya, down to the Tanzanian border, and by other mineral-rich hot springs. It sits below Aldonyo Lengai, a soaring active volcano, in the Rift Valley. During eruption, the volcano emitted a rare type of lava rich in potassium and sodium carbonate that ran down the slopes into the lake. Since the lake has no outflow and doesn't receive regular rainfall, it endured evaporation from the heat for thousands of years. This led to the concentration of trona and natron in the leftover water, creating a highly toxic brine. The lake's salinity has welcomed salt-consuming bacteria, which carry different pigments. Which in the case of Lake Natron, their pigments paint the lake a striking red. Frequently, migrating birds crash into the lake's surface. No one knows for certain exactly how they die. Wildlife photographer Nick Brandt made headlines in 2013 after staging photos of the mummified remains of the poor creatures that made contact with the lake. Number four on our list is the East African Great Rift Valley. Extending all the way from Syria in Middle East, southward through Eastern Africa, and ending in Mozambique, the Great Rift Valley is one of the most extensive rifts on the Earth's surface. This was as a result of the two tectonic plates of Africa pulling apart. The African plate, sometimes called the Nubian plate, carries most of the continent, while the smaller Somali plate carries Horn of Africa. This rift valley is dotted by volcanoes like Erdael in Ethiopia, Mount Kenya in Kenya, Aldoinyo Lengai in Tanzania, Mount Niragongo in Democratic Republic of Congo, and the most famous of all, Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. Its two major rift valley systems are the Gregory Rift and the Western Rift. One of the most important features of the Gregory Rift is the Afar Triple Junction that spans Ethiopia, Eritrea and Djibouti. Renowned as one of the hottest places on the planet and home to salt lakes, lava lakes, volcanoes, and colorful acidic springs, this a wonderful alien environment. The Western Rift is one of the most biodiverse regions in Africa, featuring a narrow corridor of highland forests, snow-capped mountains, savannas, and chains of lakes and wetlands. The Rift Valley lakes, stretching from Ethiopia to Malawi, include freshwater lakes, like Lake Victoria, which is the world's largest tropical lake by area, as well as saltwater lakes like Lake Turkana, which is the world's largest desert lake. Lake Tanganyika is the largest of the Rift Valley lakes by volume and is the world's second deepest. Recently, basalt eruptions have been observed in the rift which permits us to directly observe the initial formation of ocean basins on land. 
This is one of the reasons why the East African rift system is so interesting to scientists. Most rifts in other parts of the world have progressed to the point that they are now either underwater or have been filled in with sediments and are thus hard to study directly. In our number three, we have the Victoria Falls. This transboundary wonder extends over the Zambia-Zimbabwe border, along the Zambezi River, which is more than two kilometers wide. At this point of the river, the fall plunges noisily, with a mighty roar, down a series of basalt gorge, and raises an iridescent mist that can be seen more than 20 kilometers away, which led to the Lozi people naming the falls Mosio Atunya, which translates to, the smoke that thunders. Victoria Falls is the largest curtain of falling water in the world, it is 1708 meters wide, and with up to 500 million liters, falling in every one minute descending at great speed. The British explorer David Livingston was the first European to see the falls on November 16, 1855, and named them for Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom. In addition to the falls themselves, which now attract tourists from all parts of the world, the surrounding Victoria Falls National Park in Zimbabwe and Mosio Atunya National Park in Zambia have a variety of wildlife. In our second spot comes Tanzania's Kilimanjaro. Located in northeastern Tanzania, along the Kenyan border, this volcano extends approximately east-west for 50 miles or 80 kilometers and consists of three principal extinct volcanoes, Kaibo in the center, Mawenzi in the east, and Shira on the west. Kilimanjaro is one of the, the only four snow-capped mountains in Africa, the rest being Mount Kenya, Ruanzori and Atlas Mountains. The mountain and its surrounding forests were designated a game reserve in the early part of the 20th century. In 1973 Mount Kilimanjaro National Park was established to protect the mountain above the tree line, as well as the six forest corridors that extend downslope through the montane forest belt. The park was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. The melting glaciers of the mountain give life to Lake Amboseli in neighboring Kenya, which in turn is renowned for its high population of free African wild elephants, with a backdrop view of the world's highest freestanding mountain, the Kilimanjaro. Before unveiling our top wonder, here is a few honorable mentions. Lake Turkana. Located in the arid desert region of the Kenyan Rift Valley, with the northernmost tip crossing to Ethiopia, this is the world's largest desert lake. The lake is commonly known as the Jade Sea, due to its incredible turquoise color as seen approaching from a distance. The lake has one of the longest living histories on the planet, and recent fossil evidences unearthed at Kubi Fora has led to the lake being referred to as the Cradle of Mankind. The Sahara Desert. Spanning across much of northern Africa, this is the third largest desert in the world. The Eye of the Sahara, also known as the Richard Structure, is a geologic dome containing rocks that predate the appearance of life on Earth. The eye resembles a blue bullseye and is located in western Sahara. It is visible from space and has been used as a visual landmark by astronauts. Finally, at our number one place is the Mara Serengeti Wildbest Migration. One of the most sought after experiences for wildlife and nature enthusiasts, the Great Migration is the ever moving circular migration of over a million animals across the Serengeti Mara ecosystem in Tanzania and Kenya. The Great Migration, as it is known, is the movement of a million plus wildebeest from Serengeti in Tanzania northwards into the adjoining Masai Mara Reserve in Kenya. It is one of the world's most spectacular and thrilling display of wildlife behavior. The migration takes place every year, with the animal's primal instincts guiding them towards greener pastures, following the climatic rainfall patterns over the Serengeti Masai Mara ecosystem. Although numbers vary every year, past migrations have seen up to 1.5 million wildebeest, close to a million zebra, and large numbers of other animals undertake the long trek that lasts many weeks. Their journey is especially fraught with danger as they cross the crocodile-infested Mara and Talek rivers along the way, during which many cannot escape the giant Nile crocodiles lying in wait for their prey. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to help us grow.